Edinburgh, champion of champions and the greatest performer since the Red Terror, Farlap, and the mighty Ajax. Cinesound is privileged to give you this exclusive story of the super horse, the cynosure of all eyes as the autumn racing carnival approaches. Burnborough, by Ember imported from Burnmaid, is six years old and stands 17 hands high. Trainer Harry Plant points out the massive development and the strong yet graceful legs of the champion. Power in every line of him. This week he clipped a quarter of a second off Ajax's track record of one thirteen and a quarter for six furlong. This super thoroughbred is as gentle as a baby and the pet of the stable. His constant pal is Bluey, no ravishing beauty, no thoroughbred either. Today, Molly up, he's out to show the world what a great Australian racehorse looks like under the critical analysis of the slow motion camera. Mr. A.O. Romano is a very proud owner, he should be. The champion in action is normal motion. Note that he gallops with his hind legs spread well apart. He covers 25 feet in a stride. Burnborough was bought last year by Mr. Romano for 2,600 guineas. He shifts his balance and appears to be galloping sideways, but his pace remains terrific. Burnborough's amazing speed has sent his handicap weight skyrocketing, but his connections hope to take him back to... There he is, the poetry of motion. Born in Queensland, owned in New South Wales. But parochial state boundaries can't fence Burnborough in. He's a champion of champions, and he belongs... Thousands of race fans that crowd the rails at Flemington little know that in a short while one of the most tragic incidents in turf history is to happen. Burnborough, acclaimed by racing enthusiasts the world over as one of the finest horses to grace the turf, is to run his last race. The public idol is the cynosure of all eyes as he goes out for the LKS McKinnon Stakes. To the thousands who have followed him through his meteoric career, it's just a case of what will run second. With only five runners, there's no delay at the barrier. And as the tapes rise, flight, as usual, sets out as pacemaker. And the pace is on from the start. Burnborough moves into second place, going very comfortably. With flight now at full speed, they are really travelling. And soon it's a two-horse race. She leads Burnborough by over a length, with the others dropping back eight to ten lengths. Now Briscoe decides to move the big fellow up to flight. And without apparent effort, he gradually overhauls the mare. What a galloper he is. Now, what's that? He's broken his leg. Briscoe's pulling him up. To the public, this is tragedy, if you like. The anxious crowd forgets the race, and practically all eyes are focused on Burnborough. Probably not one in four sees flight go on to easy victory. Through the milling crowd, the champion is led. Exhibiting wonderful intelligence, the sufferer assists his helpers in every way. Officials immediately examine the spot where the champion has faltered, only to find the track in perfect order. Leading veterinary surgeons are hurried to inspect the horse, and in a short while the world knows that Burnborough the champion will race no more. Bandages are applied to ease the pain and prevent further damage to the wonder horse. The champion is assisted into a float, and one of the finest horses the turf has known is taken quietly away, never to race again. Melbourne is port of embarkation for Australian champion Burnborough, as he leaves this country to take up residence in the United States. Wongaretta has a special luxury berth built on deck for this former world beater, Hundreds crowd the wharf as the first race horse of the land is ushered from his float to the plush line stable. That will be his home for the next few weeks while on the water. Film magnate Louis B. Meyer of California, his new owner, has had many smash hits, but never a better winner. Suffering from bookmaker's throat, some call it laryngitis, and still limping from injuries sustained that memorable day in Melbourne last year, it is hoped that Burnborough will be well enough to parade in racing colours before the huge crowds of the American racetracks. Have your last look, old boy. Good luck go with you. Travelling with Burnborough is trainer Harry Plant, under whose care the Wonder Horse will cross the Pacific. 
So now it's farewell, Melbourne, and California, here we come. Next stop, Spendthrift Farm, Lexington, Kentucky. Who knows, his racing days are over, but there's always a chance of a film test, Bernie.